The first step towards improvising with the blues is to learn the pentatonic blues scale. To play the pentatonic blues scale in A, play the 5th fret of the bottom E string with the 1st finger, then play the 8th fret on the bottom E string with the 4th finger, then play the 5th fret of the A string with the 1st finger, the 6th fret of the A string with the 2nd finger, the 7th fret of the A string with the 3rd finger, the 5th fret of the D string with the 1st finger, the 7th fret of the D string with the 3rd finger, the 5th fret of the G string with the 1st finger, the 7th fret of the G string with the 3rd finger, the 8th fret of the G string with the 4th finger, the 5th fret of the B string with the 1st finger, the 8th fret of the B string with the 4th finger, the 5th fret of the top E string with the 1st finger, and the 8th fret of the top E string with the 4th finger. Step 2. Memorise and speed up the pentatonic scale, playing the scale upwards and back down. Step 3. Play the pentatonic blue scale with a backing so you can get used to how it should sound. The fourth and final step, play the notes of the pentatonic blues scale out of order with the backing track. Don't be scared to use your imagination or experiment. Don't feel you have to move up and down the scale too much, you can get a good effect with just two or three notes repeated. Don't do big jumps between the notes in the scale for any length of time, this can sound quite poor. Even if you've been playing for a while and you can play quite quickly, it's a good idea to hold a note. This gives you time to think and consider your next move. To summarise the four steps. Step 1. Learn the pentatonic blues scale both up and down. Step 2. Speed up the scale and commit it to memory. Step 3. Try the scale with the backing tape so you can get used to how it should sound. The final step, step 4. 
Play the scale out of order with the backing tape, not being scared to use your imagination or experiment. In order to make it easier to navigate, this video has been split down into two parts. The second part of this video is three backing tracks to experiment with.